Yeah. And unfortunately, targeting a few other locations mm -hmm. like the Mid Atlantic today. But this is what it looked like this time yesterday. So just 24 hours ago, right so here in America's red. Weather Center, scary. the sky turned from gray to orange to red during the afternoon. Middle mm -hmm. of the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And so we are seeing orange, yellow, and even red skies from New York all the way to Tennessee, and in even a few locations further southward than that. As this thick smoke continues to choke millions all across the east, and New York City is experiencing the worst air quality on record. And as a result, fans are waiting to find out if the New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies will postpone their games for a second day in a row. And Fox Weather's Katie Byrne is live in the Bronx for us at Yankee Stadium as a doubleheader is expected to take place today at 4 p.m. Katie, at least it sounds, you know, promising the games are going to go on. But unfortunately, the same can't be said for some other MLB games today. Yeah, exactly, Kendall. We know that D.C. Na uh, Nationals tried to, they decided to, uh, postponed the game that they were supposed to have at one o'clock in the afternoon today. As far as what we're seeing here in New York City, the early birds are starting to show up uh, for the game that's set to start around four o'clock today. Obviously, yesterday would have been tough to catch any pop flies with the conditions that we were dealing with in the city. Things really peaked here in New York about 24 hours ago. They have improved, but still this air is not healthy to be breathing in. It has unhealthy levels of pollution in it. Still, we know that really the worst spots today are going to be parts of South Eastern Pennsylvania, think Philly, and also D.C. area. I think we have a live shot that shows you what Philly looks like today. And this is how it's happening all week, right? We've seen these plumes of smoke move into different major cities across the Northeast, depending on the hour, depending on the day. It all depends on the wind. And we've been talking to people about this. They've been telling me, uh, at least here in New York, that they've been noticing symptoms like their eyes watering or a scratchy throat as they've spent more time outside. Many people opting to wear a mask to avoid that and I think people are are understanding of why the Yankees decided to postpone their game yesterday because of the conditions as of now the game's still on and people are hoping it stays that way yesterday it literally seemed like someone put a filter over the world and um, you know it's, it's crazy because you know I honestly wasn't expecting this I didn't even know um, what was going on in Canada until I saw the news and then, and then yesterday, I was like, oh, my God. Like, so I didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, everyone was talking about how it looked so orange yesterday for a number of hours because of the sun beaming through the clouds of wildfire smoke. Now, today, not so much orange and not so much of a smell compared to yesterday. A lot of people have been talking about how it feels like things have improved. But still, New York City public schools decided that kids are going to be learning remotely tomorrow because of the conditions. Kendall? And, and I think that that is a, a good decision just because of the fact that it doesn't take very long outside to really start to experience those adverse effects. Kay Byrne, live for us in New York City. We appreciate that report. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.